Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Pete. I'm here today. I've had some stuff come in. I'm running on a hour sweep. I wasn't intending to do a video, but all this stuff, stuff's come in and I want to crack into it. So, hey, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get started. Starting off with yesterday, I got picked up Speed Champions, Aston Martin, DB5, the 007 machine. Nothing in there because I've already built it. That was fun. So we'll move on from there. Next up, yesterday came in Shang-Chi Battle at the Great Village, is it? Ancient Village with the Protector. Had some cool minifigs that I wanted, so I got that one. Missed it on clearance, but unfortunately, but before it retires, I wanted to get that. Now next up we had this box come in. I think this is a Bricklink order, but from the Ricksons. So I'm guessing it must be. I am super, super tired, so I've got no idea what's even in here. I can't find my Stanley knife, so I've got these scissors and I almost stabbed myself in the foot. Fun times here at Pointerville. Let's just see if I can. I don't really know. It's a big box. And I didn't think I ordered that much stuff. Maybe there's a lot of package. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's a bit. Ah, uh, yes. Actually, more than what I thought. So there's a big bag of panels for, uh, I think it's the cafe corner that I'm trying to build. Arches, I think, that I need for that as well. Looks like there's a bunch of two by two bricks which are going to go towards my uh, mills conversions. Some other stuff. I'll look through that properly later. Oh, looks like it comes with a sticker. I think that's the Ninjago guy. I can't, don't know his name though. Anyway, moving on from that, we have a box here. I almost showed you my address and so forth. This one I need to be careful with because it's vinyl and I don't want to accidentally cut any of the covers or the records. This is an order that's come from Heartland Records. They're probably my favourite record store in Australia, based in just a short walk out of the CBD of Melbourne. And their packaging's always great. Their prices are better than most of the other stores around. And they're fast. I ordered this on the weekend and it's Friday now. And this has arrived. So starting off with... Ooh, little bit of corner damage there. Is the damage on the box? Hmm, I don't know. It'll be worse than I want, but I can probably straighten that out a bit. This is Dream Theater. It's a falling into infinity. Yeah? Yeah, falling into infinity demos. So it's 3LP. Even got a bit of Metropolis Part 2 on there, which um, didn't come out till well, Metropolis Part 2 was the next album. And I've been collecting all of these bootleg series, which were originally released on Yetsay Jam Records. I'm not sure if this one was or not, but Yetsay Jam Records, which was Dream Theater's bootleg label, we're doing heaps of stuff like that. Now, to go from one spectrum right to the other, one end of the spectrum right over to the other, we've got un Under a Funeral Moon by Dark Throne, part of the uh, their Unholy Trinity, uh, Trilogy, Trinity? Unholy Trinity. Again, fatigue, my brain's not working properly. That was the only one out of that, yeah. I'd say the box has got crunched. Normally it's better than this. Just up there. A little bit of damage. 
I like him to be as mint as possible, but I'm not one of these crazy pedantic. Well, yeah, I'm crazy and pedantic, but I'm not that crazy and pedantic about the stuff. And lastly, we have Dream Theater, Number of the Beast. This was like live from 2002 or something, I think it was. Yeah, 2002 in France. These are on colored vinyl as well. The Born Into Infinity one was silver. This one's on a limited red vinyl. Another Dream Theater record for the collection, of which I think I have all of them that are released at this point in time. <clears throat> I'll do it. I should do a Dream Theater collection tour sometime. I'll do that very soon. Lastly, pop culture. Yeah, I've got an absolute ton of Dream Theater vinyl CDs, DVDs, and so on and so on. They were my favorite band probably up until about the time that Port Portnoy left. The new album is a bit of a redeemer. Oh, I almost cut in, could have cut into what's in here. This is going to open upside down, so it will be as much a surprise for me, or kind of a surprise for me, as it will be for you. If you're watching, pardon me. Alright, so there's. Don't even look at that. There's some pop vinyls there. I just need to pull these out and see what's here. Right, we'll start off with the one that's furthest away from me. I won't reveal anything if. I get it out, and there is Lord of the Rings. There's a lot of Lord of the Rings stuff in this book. Order so that Gimli for the collection. All right, next up, going from away, what do we got there? Ah, Sylvie from the Loki TV series. Just plugging away at the Marvel collection. Boxes all good nothing wrong with that what do we have next that's there that's a loki uh president loki from again from the tv series box appears to be excellent that keeps me happy all right what do we got on this one another lord of the rings that looks like it's legolas Awesome. Box, very good condition. Nothing wrong there. What's this one? There's the window. What's that? That's um, one of the Comic Con. Comic Con He Man. Is that the laser shooter one? Or. Doesn't really say. I can't remember. But it's in good condition. Nothing wrong there. All right, we're almost there. What's that? Another Lord of the Rings. Is that Samwise Gamgee? Yep. I think it's Samwise is the true hero of the Lord of the Rings. Excellent. Brings me a bit closer. I know. A little bit of a crease down there. I don't care. I think it'll give me most of what's on the back. Maybe need Saruman. And lastly we have a photo. I think I've got maybe a Twilight photo which is basically see-through or clear plastic. However not too bad, just a little bit of a dent. All right, and the last thing that's in this box, throw that out of the way. Oh, this extra packaging goes to Masters of the Universe Origins, and it's the Attorney and Guard. So I guess he could almost be Man Man at Arms, as that's like the original Man at Arms face. Like I'm a vintage figure that I got back in 1980, what, 1, 82, whenever it was, and so on. 
that's another good one to have in the collection not punched which I like some pretty cool artwork on the back as well so that's that for this unboxing stuff going everywhere if you've made it this far thanks for watching feel free uh, feel free to like comment subscribe all of that kind of stuff and until next time i'm over and out because i need a shower and good night